This video is sponsored by Rad Power Bikes. I'm surrounded by cameras. Hello everybody! This is another one of those episodes in which I'm surrounded by all the gear that I use. We got one, two, three, four cameras going and yes, today I'm going to show you the gear that I use uh, to make all these videos. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV. Wherever I want to be Because I'm free In my RV yeah. Okay, here we are. As I mentioned, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I use to, to record all these videos that you guys uh, uh, seem to like so much and I enjoy so much uh, producing. Uh, you know what I don't enjoy? Uh, um, the Miami Heat. And I'm not talking about the, uh, the basketball team. I'm talking about the actual temperature so if you don't mind i'm going to turn on the ac and I, i'm sorry i apologize if you if you hear any any noise uh, because of that and let me let me see let me talk about uh, my cameras beginning with this one uh, the this uh this camera right here you know it's it's a camcorder style camera is the sony fdr ax 33 and um I bought it about a year and a half ago when the older uh, Sony uh, camcorder died and um, it is very nice. I like the fact that you can connect a, um, a microphone to it and a headphone jack and it has a hot shoe up here so you can put a, a video light or a, or a shotgun microphone. You know, it has features and, and that's, a, that's a very good thing. And uh, let me go, those are the pros, and the pros, of course, is the, is the video resolution, which is great. And the night, uh, the low light performance is fantastic. It's, it's one of the, the great features that this camera has. Now, for uh, the negatives, the cons, and I mean, this is a, a really bad con, and my microphone, and my recorder fell, but it's still recording, so nothing happened to it. It is uh, the year 2017. But now it did it pretty good. This was acceptable in 1995, okay? When you zoom in, you expect your camera. Okay, let, let's go somewhere else. Let's go here, for example. Very nice. Now I'm going to zoom into that camera. That autofocus should be a lot faster than that. It's still not focused, as you can see. There, now it did it. That's the, the first uh, real bad con that this camera has. And um, the other one is, uh, let, me, let me put it on the tripod again. Hold on, maybe I'll edit this out, maybe I won't. The only problem, and now it looks pretty much okay, but for the most part, unless the, the lighting conditions are perfect, uh, the image tends to be a little um, uh, overexposed. Actually, it's, it's kind of a little overexposed right now, but tends to be a little overexposed and a little undersaturated, like the colors are not these uh, vibrant uh, colors that that the other uh, Sony seems to have and the other Sony it's this one of course and this is the the Sony FDR X3000 is an action camera it is also 4k of course and it takes very good video and, it, and the video that it takes is very oh, by the way I forgot this camera on the Sony it has and uh, I wish I could show you I don't know if you can capture it but you see, you see how the lens moves up and down? I don't know if, if, you, if I'm gonna be able to see it. It has excellent, excellent stabilization. I mean, compared to, to the cameras of five, 10 years ago, this is absolutely fantastic. And this little Sony has something similar to, it's not as advanced as, as, the, as, as the AX33, but the Sony Action Cam, that's one of the main uh, pro features that I has that I love is that stabilization it, it almost feels sometimes like you're on a gimbal like you're on a on a steady cam and that's awesome now the another great feature of course you see that the, the video quality is very good and sometimes the lens gets a little smudged but, but it, it, the colors are, are vibrant and i really like i really like that the way uh, the, the, this camera looks for an action camera it's a very wide angle lens but even as wide angle as it is it, it doesn't give you that distortion that some of the older gopros or some of the cheap uh, GoPro knockups uh, give you 
So that's really good. It's really good uh, optics what it has. Now the negative, of course, is the battery life. The battery won't last an hour uh, shooting 4K. So that's a real negative because one of the reasons why I wanted uh, this camera was to put it on the roof, you know, as a as an as a, what, what I call the, the trailer cam, and. Um, it's no use, it's impossible. Eventually what I want to do, I want to put a USB cable, go into the roof, I have some, some kind of 12 volt power up there and, and have four cameras all connected to USB, all with uh, big uh, uh, SD cards and have like four hours of video, you know, constantly shooting. Oh, ah, another negative. This camera will get hot while shooting 4K nonstop and eventually it will shut down. So that's another, another negative. But uh, 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 as, as you can see, both cameras so far have almost the same amount of negatives as positives, but no piece of technology is perfect. So I'm, I'm really not blaming them so much for that. It's just, it, it is what it is. Okay, now the third camera that I still use as the trailer cam, of course, you know it. This is my GoPro Hero 3 uh, White Edition. And the great thing that this camera has is that, well, the battery life originally was a little over one hour which is not so bad but I was able to buy this extended battery in the back so now the, the battery life is you know con continuous shooting is about three and a half hours so that's great so if I'm, 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 you, know, I'm uh, you know driving north I'm gonna have battery almost uh, like to, to Lake Wells if I'm going on US 27 I mean three hours at least three hours of, of video I'm going to have, and sometimes I like to record, and you, I, I, just, I just show you guys the interesting parts. But it's it's nice to to have the uh, a time lapse of the whole trip, and this thing is really getting on my nerves. I should have, but I did. And actually, let's do this. Let's make the cable long. Now, you see, I have this other camera here. That it's a camera. But you know what this is? And it's getting hot. This is the DJI Mavic Pro, my, my new drone, relatively new drone. And it is fantastic. It has a very good camera. For some reason, someone at DJI decided in their, in their, in their um, infinite wisdom, and let me, uh, it has, it has manual settings, it's really good. In their infinite wisdom, they decided to give this drone a manual focus camera. Who, who, what were they thinking? A drone is always shooting at infinity. I'm never gonna have a close-up of me like, like here, you know, that I could, you know, I could focus on my beard and, and you can see my, 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 my the, you know, well, not quite, but you know what I mean. This, this thing is always gonna be focusing on infinity. Why would they have a, that's the one negative, uh, the one con about this, this marvelous piece of technology. Otherwise, it is absolutely fantastic. Well, you see, you've seen the footage. And I haven't even shown you all the footage that I've taken with, with this uh, machine. And I hope it doesn't start flying in here. <laughs> but it's very good. It has the, it, it uses this app on the phone. And let me, this is going to be very, oh, the gimbal doesn't want to, it's so smart. There you go. And uh, the, the app on the phone gives you a lot of telemetry, a lot of uh, good information that you might need while flying uh, this machine. And, uh, it's, overall, it, it is an outstanding product. I really like it. Of course, you, of course, you can fold it uh, down, you know, to almost nothing. Although now uh, DJI came up with an even smaller one. But look at this. That's the, that's the whole drone right there. And the camera is going crazy <laughs> because it's trying to to stabilize. By the way, the stabilization is fantastic on this camera. It's like you see. You look, look. I'm, I'm even going like this, and the camera is. I really like it. It was expensive, of course, but. You usually get what you pay for. Now the other camera that I, that I wanna did I? I'm going really ADD here, but I forgot to tell you something about the GoPro. The one the, the one negative of the GoPro is that it's dated. It's an old, it's not 4K. It never looked good, not even when new. You know, the, 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 the images is, uh, were always a little washed out, a little undersaturated, a little on the warm side. I always had to color correct them, except for like the very first uh, GoPro footage that I took in, in Canada, 
back in 2013. Was it 13? Yes. After that, I started color correcting. Sometimes I overdo it. I'm, I apologize for that, but that's the GoPro Hero 3 and the Mavic Pro. Well, you get the idea. I'm not going to edit any of this out. Now, the other camera that I have is this one. This is quite old by, by technology standards. This camera is from 2011. This is a Nikon D5100. I think they are by the 5400 by now. And this camera was very good for video uh, before I had this 4K camera. It was very good. I, that this, this was my go-to camera for... Uh, for um, actually, let me do something here. This was my go-to camera for low light performance. When I went like into the, the Kamui River caves in Puerto Rico, that kind of place for some night footage. This was very good. The negative of, of this camera was that obviously it's not 4K, at, but at, by the, at that time having 1080 was very good. The microphone is very bad, so if you if you want to rely on the on the audio from this camera, don't. And then the focus was always chasing. Uh, you could make a manual, but the autofocus would always be like going, and it was loud. It would go like, bzz, 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 and throughout the video, you will hear that. The reason I am, I'm still using it now. I'm using it for time lapses. All those beautiful night time lapses that I'm doing, I've started to use this camera. I finally learned. Uh, how to how to do the time uh, time lapse property with this type of camera and, uh, and you have to open the aperture all the way otherwise you'll get some kind of flickering effect and another reason why i'm showing this camera to you because this camera is going to be crucial in the eclipse road trip because i'm going to use uh, this lens right here this is a, a zoom lens a 55 to 300 millimeter lens and i, I even already bought a um, check it out this is, this is exclusively for the Eclipse road trip, which it's a, it's a, a sun, uh, it's a lens, you know, a, a filter, it's a neutral density filter to photograph the sun. So this is what I'm gonna use to photograph the Eclipse in the partial, when it is in the partial stage. When it is in the total stage, of course, you can see it with the naked eye, you can photograph it with the naked camera. It doesn't really matter. Okay, what else have I got here for you? Oh, this is brand new. I just got this. This is a, a video light, which, there you go. It's pretty, it's, I think it's pretty good. It illuminates too much, maybe at this distance. But uh, I bought it for the cooking show because that's why I haven't done a cooking show in a, in a, in a couple of uh, weeks. That's because I wanted to get good lighting because in that kitchen in my, in my house, the lighting is very bad. And even here, you know, it's, and uh, I, I could, I could use, uh, some better lighting and it even uh, fits in the in the shoe here in the hot shoe of the of the sony camera let me show you and it goes like this just like so and and you tighten it of course and and it works good so um look look for uh, better lighting in some of my Look for better lighting in some of my future videos. I, I really, lo I, I really looking forward to uh, uh, you know uh, improving uh, the production value little by little. You know, if you if you, I when I watch my and it's a pretty famous video by by YouTube Sanders. When I watch my California uh, video from uh, seven years ago, uh, six years ago, I cringe sometimes because uh it's you know will you improve with time okay the audio by the way this great audio that i'm recording on the field uh, right now i'm recording this is a, an audio technica microphone that the name is the model number escapes me right now is at something but I'll, I'll put a link actually i'll put a link links to all this affiliate links by the way on the on the um, on the video description and i'm recording onto this uh, zoom uh, h1 is it the h1 yeah zoom h1 digital uh, recorder which uh, has worked very well over the years. I've had it for m many, many years. I used to re use it to record uh, the band. I used to uh, plug it directly to the audio board and I would get beautiful stereo sound recorded on this thing. So I've had it for a while. Now my computer, of course, and uh, this part I have never really shown it in, a, in one of these uh, types of videos. And let me bring this camera over here. And you know what? We can turn off the, the drone already because that uh, I'm afraid it's gonna, it's gonna take off flying any minute now. <laughs> and let me get this out of here. 
And let me turn off the remote just so we shut down. Okay, perfect. Here we are, this is, um, uh, I added it here on, on a MacBook Pro, it's a, it's a little older model, this is uh, probably the 2011 model, but it still works uh, quite well, I like to use a mouse of course, a magic mouse, I'm the only person on earth that actually likes the magic mouse, but I like it because it gives me, and uh, let, me, let me go to a, for example, here's a, okay, this is the commercial that I made for Rad Power Bikes, of course, you can recognize it, and um, I like that, that this mouse has horizontal scrolling and that's like amazing. No, no, nobody else has horizontal scrolling. I don't know why. But anyways, as you know, <laughs> might as well right now play the commercial. Uh, we are sponsored by Red Power Bikes and I'll be back in 30 seconds to show you the rest of the stuff that I'm using here. Rad Power Bikes is an electric bike manufacturer offering direct-to-consumer pricing on powerful premium electric bikes. Because they sell directly to you, the consumer, you won't see the large retail markup that would be present if you were buying from a third party or a dealer, ensuring you're always getting a performance e-bike at a fraction of the cost. Visit www.radpowerbikes.com or call 1-800-939-0310 to learn more about their models or to place an order. Now offering free shipping on all four models. Okay, we're back here in the MacBook Pro, of course. I, I edit using Final Cut Pro X, which uh, I'm, I'm, I've been thinking of switching to Premiere, but... You know, it's hard. It's, it's a learning curve, you know, learning a new piece of software. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to stick with this for now. And uh, for, for those graphics, like sometimes I do the map with a little arrow and all that. For that, I use uh, this other software called uh, Motion uh, 5, which is the version 5. They haven't updated it in a while, but it works uh, for, for what I need it. And I also do like, like the, the, the graphics, you know, when you see on the bottom, um, the name, you know, the, the, the graphics, you know, with the, 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 the little mini tiny travel trailer going back and forth or whatever. That I, all that I made here. <clears throat> and the latest one that I did was the, the one, you've seen it, the one with the, that has the, the name of the song here on the right. Maybe I should show you. If I, if I can have the camera, <laughs> you see? It does, uh, and, I, and th that's what I've, uh, the, the latest project that I've done on Motion. And here's a final cut. And of course, um, I use a, a lot of other stuff. Um, my favorite uh, headphones are the, the, the legendary um, MDR7506 uh, professional uh, studio monitors by Sony. I mean, this, these headphones, I've, I've had them also for a very long time. And um, the only thing I've had to replace is the this part that goes to the ear, the ear, the ear muff, what is it called? Anyways, they're replaceable, you can buy them on, on Amazon uh, for pretty little money and uh, yeah, this headphone is fantastic. Now, the microphone that I use for uh, those, uh, <clears throat> you know, and I don't have it connected obviously, but uh, and this is kind of like a rig that I'm, uh, it's, it's kind of improvised because um, Eventually, I think for for recording on the go, I'm going to go for a for a USB microphone. But this is it's an audio uh, Audio Technica. Also, it's the AT. Um, it's an old model. I'll, I'll put the link. I've had this since the year 2000 when I opened my first recording studio back back in the day, and I have had it ever since. And I love this microphone. It sounds. I think it sounds great. And um, of course. For, for that uh, microphone and to make it sound good, I use uh, Pro Tools, which is the program that I've used uh, for music for many, many years as well. And uh, with Pro Tools, you know, uh, the secret is I just add a little bit of uh, compression and I equalizer, you know, I bump my highs and uh, my mid lows a little bit so that the, vo the voice comes out a little, uh, you know, you get that presence. And I talk really close to the microphone too, uh, 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 as well, which it's bad technique, but it, it, if it works, it, it sounds good. You know, I have the, the pop filter, so I don't pop my piece uh, too much. <clears throat> and I also add a, a, a noise gate, of course. And in here, I'm, with this air conditioning, I'm going to need a, a much stronger noise gate. And uh, I add a, a loudness maximizer on the, on the master channel. So um, that's it. 
Okay, I, and as I said, this uh, this is a very old tripod that I that I have. Is this a uh, Bosham lump? I've had this this tripod for like thirty years. It it was a, a present from my wife, my, then my girlfriend. Uh, I mean, I was right out of high school. It must have been nineteen ninety, some sometime around there. And now this one. And uh, I know it's a controversial, controversial person, but I saw Nomadic Fanatic using this. And I think this is, a, this is an outstanding product. This, this uh, tripod right here is just, uh, you know, sits anywhere and you can move it any which way you want and it stays uh, that way. And then if you want to take selfie video, especially with this very wide angle Sony camera, hello everybody, here we go. It's, it's an outstanding product. It's a Manfrotto. I'll put a link to it also, obviously, <clears throat> on the on the video description. Uh, this selfie stick here that I'm using right now with the GoPro, but I use this is a for for snorkeling is fantastic because it, it, it floats and it floats like this. So you see that the yellow the, the, the yellow tip of the iceberg on the on, on the on the water, and that's really great. Sometimes I also use um, actually there. Oops. Sometimes I also use this contraption, the, the, the Joby Gorilla Pod. I've had this for ages too. This is not a very, I think they have perfected this ever since. But you know what <clears throat> I also use? And you, you always have to have a couple of these. I have one in the car. I always have one in my bag here. It's a cell phone adapter. Because sometimes, or actually always, the best camera that you have with you I mean, the best camera that you can have is the one that you have with you always. And in this case, I always have my phone with me. And uh, lately I've been a little dis disappointed a little bit with the, with this camera, the, the selfie camera on this phone. It's not the greatest. I mean, and uh, especially in low light, you know, the, that, that initial shot, shot from my last video from uh, the, the one that... Um, in Sebastian Inlet that I'm opening the fridge, that, that looked like crap. I kept it because, because of the, the, the humor factor of it or whatever, but uh, that was not a, a nice uh, a shot. But I mean, it's, 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 it's kind of noisy. Um, but then again, I use it a lot, especially when I want to be inconspicuous. Uh, I'm in a, in a restaurant or whatever, in a restaurant. Um, let me switch cameras here. <clears throat> because uh, with the regular, uh, uh, it has this uh, has his, this excellent manual mode, especially on video, and I don't really use it as much as I thought I would. And I'm stepping on the microphone here. I'm gonna break something. But um, actually, let me I should try to do this. Hold on, I'm gonna cut. This is my phone. And uh, I'm recording video right now. I have uh, VU meters here, and it has a bunch of functions. It has, a, but, but I, you know, I could change the white balance and make it bluer or whatever. And uh, I, I should have, okay, there. That goes back to to automatic. But I could change the ISO if I think this is maybe too bright, or I want to make it look like it is. Uh, brighter or I want to make it darker it has that that uh, automatic uh, ISO and um, what else uh, it has a, a manual focus which is you know I haven't used it that much but it's good to have in case you are like in the zoo and the lions are behind the uh, I'm not recording am I okay there I'm recording now <laughs> and um, there was something all oh, here when you're recording and that's why I couldn't see it before. Anyways, uh, one thing that I like about this phone is this zoom. It actually has a very wide angle camera and it has a regular uh, angle camera, but that not, not, that's not what I like. It has a zoom lens like a, like a, like a camcorder would, you know? If you wanna go telephoto, you just go slowly zooming in and then it will switch cameras. And it continues zooming in slowly. And I, I and the reason that I use a, a regular camcorder and not a DSLR like Casey Neistat and other bloggers is because I like to do these very very slow zoomings, even though it's a, it is a digital zoom and you lose quality after a while. 
um, I think uh, this camera is really good. I like it. And uh, actually, this is the way you're supposed to do it. This is the way that I like to do it. Because the zoom then is up and down, yeah. Okay. That's the, that's, um, that's the other. That's the other camera that I use regularly. My phone, of course. Especially if I'm at a place that, you know, like, like for example, when we went to, um, uh, yeah, I need to get me a better tripod. Whoa, I started pl pressing buttons here. A shift, Whoa, hold on, hold on. Yeah, this camera has a bunch of manual settings too that I use from time to time. Not always, not as much as I thought I would either. <coughs> because you can have a uh, manual focus. You can you can pretty much do anything in manual mode in this, in this uh, Sony as well, by the way. Like for example, at the Coral Castle, we went to the Coral Castle, they said, oh no, you cannot take video in here. So what did I do? I just, uh, I mean, mostly I took photos and then I gave you like, like, like at, at, at Graceland, I did the same thing. I took photos and, and gave you a slideshow. But at the Coral Castle, I just pretend that I was taking a picture at, at one point and I just took a video because in some places I respect that they don't allow video. When it is like, uh, you know, out of respect. Uh, for someone or when, when it is a copy something copywritten yeah sure or when it is like like uh, something that could be in, like national security or something like that of course you have to respect those but if it is a place that they just don't want you to do it because maybe they think that that people are not gonna go visit because they saw it on video and they don't need to go anymore you know it's like uh, you know screw you I'll, 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 I'll I won't blatantly break the rules but if I can sneak in a little video here and there Okay, I think that's all I got for now. How many minutes uh, have, we, uh, have we... Well, I think that's it for now. I don't think um, I'm missing much. I've, I've had this... I have this... Uh, I used to be very disorganized, but now I have this big case with all my batteries and chargers and all that stuff. So now you know uh, what I use to make my videos. In a video very soon, I'm going to show you my, my process, my, my workflow and... Uh, uh, yeah, that, that, that will be coming soon. But for now, this is it. Until the next time, thank you so much uh, for watching and see you on the road. All good things come to an end. But before you go, if you liked it, do me a solid and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, remember to subscribe if you haven't and check out my other videos. You can also visit the blog at travelingrobert.com, join the mailing list and follow me on social media at travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. Riding with my RV.